this will be our first nickel hunt for a very long time. Um, this was in a bag. I got it down there so I can do my discards into it. If we look here, we see there's a lot of these bison enders. And they look like they're new. So it looks like somebody opened up a new roll of those and probably dumped them. So maybe we had a chance to look for a spear to bison. Um, I kind of tried to look at that look old. Anyway, we'll be right back with our first find. Okay, we're on our first roll. And I just laid the nickels out here. And just scanning up the side there. And it's all that. Now that's definitely an older nickel. Um, looks like probably a buffalo. And sure is. And a buffalo nickel on the very first roll that we've hunted in a while. Doesn't look to be in super bad shape. No mint mark. And it doesn't look like we're going to have a date. Looks uh, pretty worn on the front side here. Take a look at it under the loop here real quick and see if we can find a date. And uh, if not, we'll come back and let you know. Look like we had another old coin right here. Yep, we had 1948 Denver. So look at that put up here. We'll uh, get through the rest of these guys. If we have anything else, we'll let you know. If not... Um, We'll do after, like we usually do, give you a recap after 10 rolls. Unless we find another buffalo nickel or we find a silver, then we'll bring you back in for those. I'm on roll number five, and I just reached down to pick up a stack of coins. I actually split it right where this guy was at. That is probably the worst looking buffalo nickel I've seen in a very long time. He's looks really beat up. I can't see if there's anything on the back or not, but yeah, he looks like he's been pretty beat up. Anyway, um, couldn't see a date on this one, don't see a date on the other one. So, at the end of the video, we will uh, nick a date those and see if we can get us a date. I don't know if that one's going to show us one, but that one should. Anyway, be back uh, after five more rolls or with a silver or another buffalo. All right, we're through 10 rolls. And in those first 10 rolls, we find a 1946 Philadelphia, 48 Denver, 54 Denver, a 57 Denver. Oh, let's go over here first. We found those two Buffalo nickels. One's in pretty bad shape. And then we found a 1981 Denver. Uh, probably going to be an album upgrade for me. And then I just started stacking all these Bison nickels. There's uh, 60... Looks like 67 there already in 10 rolls. So somebody dumped a few rolls of those here recently at one of the banks. Anyway, uh, we get through the next 10 and come back and show you what we find. Okay, we're through 20 rolls now. There's our stack of bisons. Looks like we got two, four, six dollars, almost seven dollars worth so far and there's uh, more to come looks like enter there there and another one there and there 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 so quite a few more to come so somebody dumped a lot of those look brand new um this is what we're going to add to our finds these 10 rolls we got a 53 denver a 55 denver 56 denver and then two 58 denvers we found this really good look at 1980 Proof nickel, so that's pretty cool. Looks really good. Got a little bit of discoloration, but not too bad. So put that up top. We'll get those put with the rest of them, and we'll bring you back in after ten more rolls. All right, we're through the next ten rolls. We're going to add to the finds: forty-one San Francisco, a forty-eight Philadelphia, fifty-seven Denver, and a fifty-nine Denver. And then. Uh, Looks like we got $10.25 worth of these bison nickels that were in here. And then uh, looks like some more there and some more there at least. So looks like I'll be stacking a few more of those. We're going to be looking through those for the speared buffalo, but I don't know. I haven't ever found one of those, but with that many chances, who knows. Anyway, we'll get back to the hunt and bring it back in after the next 10 rolls. 
This is the actual. We'll just start looking at this coin. So it's looking old on the end. We got ourselves a 1939. So we're going to finish opening this one. My view real quick. I think that's just a discard coin. I think that's a... It's in 1996, or no, 1966 nickel, so not silver. Let's look at this 1939 here on the end and see if we've got a mint mark. And we don't, it's a Philadelphia, but still in 1939, that's our oldest nickel so far. We'll uh, get back to the hunt, bring it back in on the next find, or after the 10 rolls, I mean. We're on roll 38. I just want to slide this down and you can see the back of a buffalo there. So we're going to set this down here and look at it. The back looks pretty good. There's no mint mark. We got a 1936 buffalo nickel. So we'll put that over here with the rest of them. We'll get through the rest of this and uh, two more rolls and come back and show you what we found. All right, we got $10 left out of this bunch. So, I'm sorry, 10 rolls left, $20 left, 10 rolls. And we're going to add to our finds 1939 Philadelphia, two 1940 Philadelphias. Those are pretty bad shape. 41 Philadelphia, two 54 Philadelphias. That was in pretty bad shape as well. 56 Philadelphia, pretty bad shape. 58 Denver. We got that, um, we found a 1972 proof nickel. Looks like it's been uh, around for a little bit as far as in circulation. Keep that. And then uh, we found that 1936 Philadelphia Minton Buffalo nickel. So get all these added to the top, uh, get through these next 10 rolls, come back and show what we found. All right, we're done with the first 50 rolls. We're gonna to add to the finds a 1939 Philadelphia, 48 Denver, 54 Denver, 57 Denver, and a 57 Philadelphia. Now, we're not gonna do a recap of all this, but you can see everything that's here. Um, probably over 30 coins. Um, we do have those three buffaloes. I'm gonna go ahead and nick -a date these two real quick. Uh, before we start the other one. So we can see there's a date on there. Um, out of that bag we did end up with, what, two, four, six, eight. There's 10, 12, 13, almost $14 worth of those bison nickels. So we'll check those for the uh, speared buffalo or the speared bison. If there's none there, those will all just go back in the bag. And that'll be a clean slate there. So when, you when I come back, those will be all gone through. And those will be nicodated. All right. We are through all of those. There was no speared buffalo. On these, our speared bison. On these here, hopefully you can see that. We have a little bit. Yeah. That right there. 1923. So we got 1923 is the messed up one. The Philadelphia, and this one right there, 1916. So that's pretty cool. We got a 1916, a 1923, and that 1936. So we got us a herd going on here. Hopefully, we'll be able to find uh, another one there. Maybe another, maybe two. Uh, we get back we come back we'll have all those laid out here so we can use that as our discard bag and we'll show you the finds out of the first 10 rolls we're 10 rolls in on this second set of 100 and i already went through half this and i looked down and i saw that nickel right there it's a buffalo I do not see a date at all. We'll try to get a loop on it and see if we can see a date. And there's no mint mark either. So we'll put that aside. This roll number 10. I'll finish this up and then I'll come back with a wrap up for the 10 rolls. All right, we're 10 rolls into the second set of 100. 
We're going to add to the fines 1940 Philadelphia, a 47 Denver, 51 Philadelphia, 54 Denver, 57 Denver, 57 Philadelphia, 58 Denver, a 59 Denver, and I went ahead and nickedated that Buffalo nickel, and you can see it's 1916 very clearly. So there's nine more to add to the top there. We'll get them added up for the rest of them, and uh, we'll get into the next 10 rolls. We're 18 rolls into this set of 100. I missed it when I was opening the roll, but you can see that edge right there. It's a little different. I actually slid that down. I already saw it was a D-met mark on the back, but I haven't seen the front. So you see the big D above the mono, Monticello, Monticello, however you want to pronounce it, building. And we have 1945 Denver. So we got a, a war nickel. So we're we'll going to put that under here, we'll get through the rest of this, through two more rolls, and then bring you back in and give you a wrap of what we found. All right, we're through the 20 rolls. We're going to add to the fines. It's a really nice looking 1939 uh, Philadelphia. 41 Philadelphia, 41 San Francisco, a 52 Philadelphia, 54 San Francisco, 54 Denver, 359 Denvers, and a 1993 Canadian. Well, I don't keep those, but I uh, just wanted to show you. And then we got that 1945 Denver Minted War Nickel. So we'll get those all added to the top, get into the next 10 rolls and come back and show what you find. Okay, we're 30 rolls into the second hunt now, so 80 rolls total. We're gonna add to the fines a 41 San Francisco, a 47 Philadelphia, a 56 Denver, and a 2009 Denver. Haven't found a 2009 in a while. So we'll get back to the hunt and bring you back in after the next 10 rolls. All right, 40 rolls out of this one down, so 90 total. We're going to add to the fines uh, 39 Philadelphia, a 41 San Francisco, 48 Philadelphia, and a 58 Denver. Get through these last 10 rolls and come back and show you what we find. All right, we're through uh, those 50 rolls, so 100 total. And with our fines real quick, I'm not going to tell you how many of each one because kind of lost count, but we've got 39 Philadelphias, 40 Philadelphias, 41 Philadelphias, 41 San Francisco's, 46 Philadelphia, 47 Philadelphia, 47 Denver, 48 Denver, 48 Philadelphia, 51 Philadelphia, 52 Philadelphia, 53 Denver, 54 Denver, 54 Philadelphia, 54 San Francisco, 55 Denver, 56 Denver, 56 Philadelphia, 57 Philadelphia, 57 Denvers, 58 Denvers, 59 Denvers. Uh, these two are probably going to upgrade on the album. And that one, the steps are kind of messed up on that one. But if you look at this one really closely, you can see it's got really good steps on it there. got one little ding at the top and one ding at the bottom there. Other than that, it looks really good. Um, we did find that one Canadian nickel that'll go back to the bank. We have our two proof nickels. Yeah, 1980 and 1972 San Francisco minted nickels. Our 2009 Denver. We have that 1945 Denver minted war nickel. 35% uh, silver. And then we got our herd of buffaloes up here. We got a 1916, a 1923, 1936. Those three came out of the first box. And then this 1960 here came out of the second box. Um, All together, that is 63 finds out of the two boxes. That's two boxes. That's pretty good. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have subscribed, we appreciate your subscription. Uh, thumbs up is always appreciated. And uh, if you leave a comment, we'll answer within a day or two.